Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make a Twitch channel point reward that allows your viewers to turn you into a PNG tuber. To create this channel point reward, you will need Mix It Up, two PNG images, OBS, Discord, and the website Reactive by Fuji Tech. I'll also try and separate this video into chapters to cover each main step for you. The first thing you're going to do is download the images that you want to use and save them to your computer. Then open the Discord client on your PC and either join or create a voice channel that will need to be kept open while you're streaming or recording in OBS. Then go to the website reactive.fuji.tech, link in the description below, and log in with your Discord account. From there, you need to authorize access. In this window here, you're going to select what images you want to use for when you're speaking and inactive. You can already see the one that I've got set up here, so I'll show you this one. So this is the image that I've selected as my speaking image, and I did that just by clicking on the camera button and you select the file that you're using. Then this side, you also need to select your inactive image for when you're not talking and hit the save button. Then head to the configuration settings to alter how you want your PNG tuber image to be presented. So for me, I like the, that the character bounces when I speak, so I've got the bounce effect. And then I've also selected the cross fade effect. So this means uh, the small detail of my mouth being closed and open. That just has a little fade over it to try and make it look a little bit more seamless. But it's your settings, so you play around with the settings until you've got it how you would like it. From there, we're going to click on this individual selection here. We don't need this group setting for what we're doing. We're going to click it and we're going to drag it into OBS, into the sources, pull it over and drop it in your sources here. And it will say you have dragged a URL into OBS. This will automatically add the link as a source. Continue. Yes, please. And there it is really tiny up here. So obviously I've got myself twice now, but that's because I already have it set up. So let me show you the setting up a bit. So let's hide the other me. Look, it's really tiny. So let's change that. Let's change the width to 1920 by 1080. Now, what we can also do is we can just cut the edges off with Alt and left click. And we can move this to where we want it in the screen. So for me, my camera is usually up here. So I'm going to put it here like that. Lovely. Fantastic. Okay. Happy. <laughs> now, if you don't see your PNG tuber on screen here, just double check that you're in a voice channel. Um, if you're not in a voice channel on Discord, it won't show. So if you panic and think, oh my goodness, where is my PNG tuber? Just go to Discord and double check that. Or you can double click on your source here and just go refresh cache of current page. I would also recommend locking it so you don't find it's going flying about all over the place. So let's go ahead and head over to Mix It Up to get everything set up. Log yourself in and just check that your services are connected to OBS in the hamburger menu. So go to services, OBS Studio, just test your connection or connect it if it is not set up already. Go back to the hamburger menu, go to Twitch channel points and let's create that command. If you've already got the channel point redeem set up in Twitch, all you need to do is add command to existing rewards. Or if you haven't got it set up yet, you can just go ahead and create new channel point reward. I've already got mine set up. I will show you my, um, my command editor in a moment because I've got a few additional settings and I just want to take you through the simple setup first. So let's do that one together. Let's go ahead and create new channel point reward. Turn into a bat. And it's successfully created. So it's popped up here. I'm going to use this button to edit the command. I'm going to unlock it, otherwise people are not going to be able to use it. And I'm going to go to this drop down action here and we're going to find the one that says streaming software. Click the plus button to add it. Streaming software, OBS. The action that we need is source visibility. We need to type the scene name of where it is. So this instruction is going to be to turn our webcam off. 
and I've got this in the scene currently called recording. The name of my webcam is webcam main. And I'm not going to change this because what this does is changes the visibility of this item. So this means it's going to turn my webcam visibility off. Now we're going to go back down to the drop down menu here and select streaming software again. Click the plus button to add it. And this time we want to tell it to turn the visibility of our PNG, PNG tuber on. So streaming software, OBS. Action is source visibility. It's in the scene called recording. And the name of my PNG, PNG tuber source is called Bat VTuber. That's what I've called it. And we're going to turn the visibility toggle on so that we can see it. Now, I am also going to add an additional instruction here called wait because we want to tell it, tell Mix Up how long we want this to be visible for. And you have to do it in seconds. So, however long you want this channel point redeem to be active for, you type it in seconds. So, for me, I'm typing 300 seconds. So, it's going to put my V tuber visibility on for 300 seconds before we tell it to turn it off. We do that with the drop down menu. We go to streaming software. We add it. OBS action again is source visibility. And the scene that I've got called recording. Source name is my bat VTuber, and I'm telling it to make it not visible anymore, to turn it off. And then the final, final step that we need is to turn our webcam back on again. So we just go streaming software, add it, go through the same options before OBS Studio, source visibility, the scene name, what your webcam is called and turn the visibility back on. And that are the, those are the only steps that you need. Those are the most basic steps to get this to work. So let me just recap what they are, squash them all together so you can see them. Those are the most basic steps that you need. Turn your webcam visibility off, turn your VTuber on for 300 seconds before turning it off and turning your webcam back on again. Click save. And it's active. The really important step you've got to include to make sure this works is if you look down here in the sources, you've got my my bat VTuber is visibility is off. Um, normally my webcam would be up here, but I've turned it off for the moment. But to because you're telling mix it up to turn the visibility on, it needs to be off for the meantime. And then those commands that we've set up will activate them as and when you've told them to. Now, as promised, I'm also going to show you the options that I currently have set up for mine because I have a few features that I want to hide. So I've also got this GIF that I've included in the transformation process here. It's this little one, there's the cloud and the stars, which you can include as well if you want to show like this magical transfor transformation of turning into a bat. So find yourself a transparent GIF on Google. I think I just typed in transparent GIF poof cloud stars, something like that. I must have been like poof gif because that's what apparently what I've called it. I've added it as a source here. You will have to turn the visibility off. Otherwise, it's not it's never going to stop. <laughs> there you go. Visibility off. Here's the options that I have and mix it up because, as I said, I have a few extra features. So I'll go ahead and show you those now in my command editor. It looks like a lot. Yeah. I've got, I've got a lot. <laughs> Let me talk you through what I've got, including the GIF that I've used. So if like me, you have a webcam border or you have some decorational features um, or widgets on your webcam that you want to hide as well, you can use these uh, commands to tell it to hide those. So this first one, top to bottom in order, it's hiding my webcam. This one hides the border around my webcam. This one hides a decorational feature that I have on my webcam. So those three will, at the same time, they will hide instantly all at the same time. Then this one activates the, the magical GIF, this one here, like that. So that will pop up. It will be visible for one second before it 
hides again, its visibility is toggled off, and the bat tuba becomes visible. Then it waits for 300 seconds before the proof gif, this one, little magical guy, wee, is visible again for one second. Then he's turned off. The bat tuba is turned off. And then my cam overlay border, my webcam, and my decorational elements are switched on again. That should be on. <laughs> the visibility is toggled on. And then you just click save and you've got your command ready to go.